While campaigning against Donald Trump in Atlantic City this week, Hillary Clinton announced plans to eliminate in-state tuition at public colleges and universities for families with incomes of less than one hundred and twenty-five thousand a year. Her plan would phase in over several years. At first, it would cover students whose families make eighty-five thousand a year or less. The threshold for free tuition would climb by ten thousand a year until it hits one hundred and twenty-five thousand in twenty twenty-one. Clinton also ramped up her pledge to eventually provide debt-free public college. She outlined her plans for a three-month moratorium on paying back federal student loans, a move that would give students and their parents some breathing room to restructure or refinance high-interest loans to take advantage of today's lower interest rates. The moratorium could potentially be carried out through an executive order if Clinton is elected. Although details are still being worked out, the plan would cost the federal government an estimated one billion, mostly in the loss of interest on student loans. But the larger goal of overhauling the federal student loan system would require input from Congress, which has wrestled with the problem in the past, with only modest results to show for it. Mounting student debt is one of the toughest problems confronting lower and middle-income families, and has contributed to a staggering 1.3 trillion annual student debt.